Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olubibi Emeka and um, I have come to do another life update. It's been an amazing journey or amazing things happening with me so far and I thought to come and share with you. I mean, what's the point having a channel if I can share certain things with you guys? I actually really thought to be this honest with you guys, especially because the last time I had a life update, I shared with you my battle with depression and you know how last year turned out for me and I, I just thought I could just give you like an update of what has been so far with me and what has been going on with me, right? And I thought to do a get ready with me to share about this. I honestly hope that this video comes out as coordinated and achieves the aim of you know me sitting down to talk about this right by the way if you hear any noise anything windy that's because my fan is right beside me and it's been hot <sighs> it's been so hot and this is not nepal like this is generator <laughs> so i mean we have to make do with what we can make do with this is not a makeup tutorial first of all this is me just trying to give you like an update of my mental health so far because a lot has really happened to it i'm talking about something positive now this is not me trying to tell you oh i'm i'm depressed now nah, ain't nobody depressed anymore so i'm gonna start off by cleaning my face with this cotton pad i'm going through a deeper level of self-discovery and <laughs> one thing i've noticed is that formation process just never ends it is just a continuous thing that keeps happening for the level of placement that god wants to give you the kind of placement that god wants to put you in okay and when we understand that it will help us also to to learn to give god the kind of attention that he requires us to give him because whatever sources whatever sources a thing is what will still sustain it okay and one thing i've noticed about myself is that whenever i'm out of alignment like i go out of God's will <laughs> everything else is affected everything else is affected heavily affected and I because I've come to terms with that it's not even something I had to come to terms with I had to understand it I did and it has helped every of my decision so far and um, I've also understood how the devil plays with me okay i had to understand that the hard way unfortunately you know with me battling depression last year and with every other thing that happened with me and shockingly it's it's the fact that i was a bit suicidal and people just never believe that you know i was speaking with someone recently and the person was like you were really suicidal were you telling the truth yes i was suicidal it was that serious you know i was analyzing it i was thinking about it i was thinking of the people the my family members that would be hurt or would really you know feel so just have a deep impact that can handle me you know not being in the picture anymore and for me to have gone that far of analyzing it then i was really thinking about it and it got to the point where i was honestly thinking about the easiest way the the less painful way to do it <laughs> so that's it um yeah i it's it's not something i'm so proud to admit but yes i i admit it because i believe that whatever truth i have to leave is to help someone out there i believe that whatever god can do to me he can do through me so someone is basically going to be helped by my honesty my transparency and you know me sharing my life and me being confident enough to to share the details of what led to these things right and of course when god gives you victory in a situation it is it is just the best thing to speak about it and shame the devil and also let people know that there are certain things that they cannot do by themselves okay so i'm done um setting my face i would go ahead to start the makeup process by the way a girl has been enjoying braiding recently 
I honestly don't know exactly what happened to me but the truth is I have been having fun with braiding a lot lately and it's something that I noticed maybe because I have always wanted to try out new things this year so yeah braiding is one of it this is my second hairdo for the year that involves braiding as a matter of fact this is the first time i'm ever doing ghana braids like ghana braids i have never done it in my entire life and um i was honestly scared of the outcome because i mean i've never seen anyone look happy when they braid their hair or when they attempt the gunner weaving i mean like when it's been done because it always seemed quite painful so while i was trying to get it done i was also very scared and very worried that um, the pains might be too much for me to bear but turns out it wasn't as painful as i thought because a girl is rocking natural hair i mean a girl is rocking the gunner braids now and this has literally been two weeks of me having this hair do on i plan to have it on for like a month okay that's because i mean it's my hair i spent money to do it so i i really want to have it and i really want to enjoy it and i've been so careful because the thing is whenever i braid my hair oh no i don't know what happens to my scalp it becomes very itchy that i honestly cannot even go two weeks without losing the hair but this time around i really want to be more at, i want to pay more attention to my scalp so let's talk about what's been going on with me um early this year i i was really pumped i honestly wanted to just give better expression of myself which so far i think i'm doing that but i i'm beginning to feel more responsible for the kind of content i put out i feel like i need to i feel like there's a need for me to become very um to just pay more attention to the depth of the content i put out and not just share with you ways to do this self-development content but like share real life experience because again everybody just assumes that everyone is okay and honestly nobody's okay nobody's okay until you 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 just think everybody's okay until you get to talk to them and then you find out that wow there's a lot going on with this person you just never know and then on the other person just maybe does something very stupid just like when i was battling depression and nobody knew everybody thought i was really okay until i spoke about it and the truth is that so i'm gonna be trying out this new blush technique i want to use my lipstick and as a cream blush i don't have a cream blush but i've been seeing a lot of you know makeup artists try this out so i just thought to try out so why buy the cream blush when you can just diy it okay so let's just try it out and see what it's like if it doesn't come out well then we'll try something new but it looks like it's coming out well it looks like it's coming out well so yeah guys um so this year i really want to to try out different things on my channel one of the things i'm open to trying out is having guests on my channel when i'm talking about anything human related like human development related i want to do less of sitting down to share with you guys and do more of having a having a guest someone that can share their experiences at well i noticed that when people find out that there is someone out there that can relate to whatever they're going through it's easy to open up i want my channel to become more impactful to impact people the more and not just give you guys the head knowledge you know five ways to do this 20 ways to do that or you know i really want my channel to be more impactful i want to be very intentional about it and that's because again social media is a platform where you can promote anything i found out that unbelievers find it very easy to come here and talk about anything without shame so what 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 am i giving to people as a believer that i am right so and i really want to be shameless about that i want to talk about my journey with god i want to talk about my self-development journey which i've always done but now i want to be more practical about it have guests on the you know on set with me that can share their experiences as well it's not something that will start immediately please it's not again i can't tell you this is when it will start i don't know i'm just i'm just still brooding on it i'm talking to god about it so whenever he gives me the go ahead order to start it 
I'm gonna start it. And the second thing, honestly, that have been going on with me is I fell in love. Guys, I fell in love. <laughs> New found love. You're gonna be shocked at who I fell in love with. Again, because I've fallen in love with this person before, but I mean, I fell in love with this person again. So it's not, it's not a new thing. It's just that it's happening again, but in a in a more in a more beautiful way. What am I talking about? I'm talking about God, actually. <laughs> I know you're expecting me to say, "Oh my God, I met a guy and he's been awesome. We've been going out on dates, yadi yadi yadi." Yeah, awesome. That's part of my life. Is is i'm going to share with you guys when the time is right I, I i'm not the type that wants to talk about my love life or my relationship life you know online again because it's called privacy for a reason i like to be private about it but when the time comes i will tell you okay so yeah my relationship with god honestly has been it's been amazing my dad's death was a spiritual awakening for me and it was something that i always thought to myself i probably would have prevented that from happening but again i understand why it happened and i've learned not to beat myself up about that i have learned to focus on what god wants on what god wants me to focus on and um not allow the affliction to happen the second time right so i basically had to start a new journey with god and the truth of the matter is that i needed it i'm gonna blend this out first of all so the truth is my dad's death was like a spiritual awakening for me because um i mean the spiritual governs the physical right i always believe that whatever we allow in the spiritual realm is what god will allow to happen here because we are ambassadors you know on earth and it's if anything it actually reminded me what i was supposed to be doing and what i'm supposed to be doing as someone that occupies the priestly position in my family because i know that it's not something that anybody had to tell me i know i took some time out to think about what i didn't do right last year to think about what i need to do right this year so that i can achieve a high level of spiritual maturity and really get back to my you know the where i was before and even exceed it because again it's never enough it's <laughs> it's never enough right so i had to just be very practical about it plus certain other things happened this year and these things literally made me decide okay the devil you've tried a girl has to bounce back right now right now i actually just saw the need to revive my relationship with god again and not dwell in that depressive mode or be emotional or always depending on my emotions to do things or to not do things you get what i mean i had to just make a decision again to just approach god in a different way because i've understood that the devil is scared of our spiritual maturity i was listening to a message by pastor jerry flowers one of those times i was on a personal retreat and i heard him say this and i was shocked do you know how you get angry with the devil i need to focus and be doing this and be talking at the same time have you ever been so angry at the devil that you're like wait this is what you've been doing to me and i did not know that's exactly how i felt when when pastor jerry flowers said the devil is scared of us maturing spiritually and he would do anything to stop that growth because he understands that when we attend spiritual growth he has lost his hold on us the hold that he has on us right because the devil is accused of the brethren you know what they call holy anger that's literally what i had that afternoon i even had to sh share it with a friend of mine i'm like i understand now i i, I get it this guy has honestly been attacking my spiritual life because he knows that when he gets me, he gets my family. Do you get what I mean? I, I, I needed to just step into the priestly position I'm supposed to occupy. <laughs> and I did. And I spoke to God about it. Because honestly speaking, if there's one thing I don't want to do, it is to work 
or do God's work by my strength. I don't want to even have to depend on my personal strength because again, I'm just a young girl. I'm a baby to God. I have I don't know anything. I'm basically just learning the ropes. I, I don't know exactly what the big picture is, but at least I know I can I have a hint. God has spoken to me about certain things he wants to do with me, to do in my life. God I already know that whatever God does to me, he wants to do through me. One of the things that God told me while I was quite young is I want to use it to heal families and I will give you a platform. Media is that platform for me. And he also helped me to understand the reason why everything I've ever gone through had to happen to me and the reason I'm in my family. I'm saying this again because someone might need to hear this. The truth is God places you in your family for a reason. It is not a thing of, oh, this is where she wants to be. No, 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 no god placed you in your family because he puts he wants you to be the the savior the redeemer in your family he wants you to be the light that will shine in your family that's one of the reasons that i had to get born again on time you know when you don't understand why things happen you just abuse certain things so for you guys that keep saying oh i, I regret being in my family i wish i wasn't here no 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 no. stop regretting and focus on exactly what god wants you to do Focus on what God wants you to do. He didn't place you there to joke, no more. He placed you there because he has an assignment he wants you to to fulfill, to, to take care of. Because again, a lot of people are looking up to you. That's something that I've always known. And that's also something that has put me on a check. No matter how stupid I get, no matter how distracted I get, at the long run i always know that god has put a generation inside of me and my decisions will always affect the call of god upon my life right so i always i would always run back to him because i understand this thing the devil is scared of my spiritual maturity again i'm saying this to say that i intentionally had to make certain decisions that would alter my life right and the first decision was to rededicate my life to god again and second decision was to be very intentional about my spiritual growth because that is basically where the devil attacks and once he gets that part of my life once he takes that away from me every other thing crashes okay i want to believe that you will learn from this so yeah i had to handle that and the truth is i also had to identify my triggers the triggers that basically you know pose as a distraction and one of the things i noticed that is a trigger is hurt from people i'm a very emotional person i'm one person that just never believes that people can hurt you i mean why would people hurt you i because i don't want to hurt people i'm very innocent in my mind and it's something that my twin brother told me while i was quite young my first betrayal came from a best friend of mine and that period you know when i was when he told me it is this girl that did this i'm like no she can't do this it's not possible <laughs> and he said i can't remember i can't forget actually he said it would be you are too innocent and you believe that everybody in this world is like you actually you're just different you're just one of the few people that are just like that you're not <laughs> everybody's not like you right so i i always have a lot of expectations when i have close people around me and one of the expectations i always have is i i just don't believe that they can hurt me because i just don't want to hurt them either so naturally when they eventually hurt me i hold it on like i i i feel so hurt and i keep dwelling on needs and i keep brooding on needs and i'm like this person like how could you how could you do this to me i i i, I thought i could trust you do you know and people people are people because they're human beings it's not like they it's not like they actually planned really to hurt you it, it's just it's just you know things that happen in life so i'm gonna go in with this concealer again so yeah because of that i also had to learn as I, I had to intentionally tell myself the truth it would be you cannot you cannot be depending on people to 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 know exactly how your life should be if people hurt you then you need to start depending more on god and less on people because again people will be people because that's who they are they're human beings nobody's perfect even you must have hurt someone and you probably don't even know 
maybe because the person has not told you you know so i honestly had to talk to myself so yes i have been enjoying a different dimension of relationship with god i am more intentional with prayers right now my prayer life is not it's i don't i don't i don't do it like a duty it's something i look forward to but again i'm also trying to balance it out with studying of the word and because because a lot of us do a lot of prayers and at the end of the day we don't even have time to study the word of god right and it's not complete you need to study the word of god you need to know exactly what the bible says about you what the word of god is saying so that when when you find yourself in certain situations you're you're able to know how to address it do you understand what i mean honestly speaking i have to let you know that the best thing in this world is to have the presence of the holy spirit in the presence of god in your life i can't even i can't even say the last of it it's something that if you have you wouldn't want to lose it you honestly will not want to lose it and i i am very conscious of the fact that i'm enjoying it and i don't want to lose it so i'm consciously now trying to maintain a prayerful life maintain a charged atmosphere maintain koinonia with the holy spirit because again i don't want to lose him and i don't want to give the devil the chance to hit me again and guys my prayer life has not been the same it has not been the same i have been having a lot of wonderful experiences with god i I'm, i don't want to get emotional <sighs> calm down girl <laughs> i don't want to spoil my makeup this video was not supposed to be emotional but i don't know if you've ever if you've ever really experienced god's presence in your life you know i, I want to believe you can you can you can relate the 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 presence of god is so tangible guys you have to experience it for yourself and for me right now it's something i want to maintain i don't ever want to lose it again because i love it i enjoy it and i really want to i really want to give more expression to the things that god wants me to give expression to you know so that's basically why i really want to go back to the place of his presence and just really enjoy fellowship with god i had to also be very honest with myself regarding the triggers you know the things that the devil preys on in my life and the first thing i told you was hurt from people so now i don't i'm learning not to depend so much on people or to just assume that everybody will be as i am i mean i'm not perfect myself don't mind me but then you know what i mean like i just there are things i can't do i cannot just do to people i just can't do it you know I'm a very dependable person, so it's very easy for me to just expect people to be like that to me as well. I had to also figure out or point out certain things that were not helping me. And I'm going to share these things with you as well because, again, um, it's one thing for you to get a touch from God or, you know, like God, God um, comes to you and probably revives your prayer life or anything like that. Um, the truth is it's you don't it's not just that one time that can sustain you you need to consciously build that relationship with him and if you have to do that you need to feed your spirit man so i had to decide to really feed my spirit man and how do i feed my spirit man because the truth is whatever you feed grows whatever you starve dies and if you feed your flesh your flesh would grow your flesh would grow and that's why you notice that oh maybe you're you want to listen to a particular kind of song or you're basically struggling with sexual sins you just basically want to to feed the flesh and satisfy the flesh but if you are focused on feeding your spirit you will notice that the things that you would want to do or your quest would naturally be towards god towards the work of god towards you making god proud you know and i really want to make god proud so i needed to just tell myself the truth and i asked myself the question what are the things that have a huge impact or huge influence in your life 
notice that one of them is music you know one thing the mind is very powerful the time i was battling depression i honestly was playing a lot of sad songs i don't even know how i get to find these songs you know like how you just go and boom the devil just gives you an idea of a word to type and boom you're saying songs yeah the devil was always he was really that um he was very tactical with me to that extent yeah so he would always i would always find depressing songs depressing songs to listen to and when i'm done listening to them huh, i feel sad i cry you know and i come out again and i'm looking fine so i had to change my playlist i had to download songs chants prayer chants because when i want to pray i like to play with you no know, chants the likes of theophilus the likes of lawrence oyo or victoria renze you know i had to also download messages michael robo is my new discovery oh god guys you need to listen to that man you need to you need to his messages are awesome super awesome he he takes you on this journey of spiritual intelligence and you're wondering like where have you been like why haven't you known these things all the while joshua selman apostle joshua selman is another person that when you pay attention to his messages no you cannot be the same you honestly speaking you cannot be the same you honestly can't be the same so yeah i i needed to find these things out for myself and i have been doing it and i will tell you the truth it has been good i have honestly been enjoying so my, my i'm basically baking my face i'm gonna have to go ahead and contour and the rest of it so i have also decided to invest so much in the knowledge of the word of god like intentionally now do it not because i have to speak somewhere but because i really want to know him for myself and listen to what he needs to tell me let him minister to me first of all before ministering to any other person i want to i want to prepare my my spiritual man so much that even if i'm called to talk anywhere i don't have to like say oh i need to do like an emergency study no it, it flows it just flows because again a girl has been feeding feeding that's that's what i want to do i honestly just want to feed my spirit man to the point where you know you just tap me and the word of god flows and you know like i don't have to tell you oh let me just go and no 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 we're feeding i honestly just want to grow you get what i mean so yeah that's 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 like another thing going on um i've noticed that the strength the devil has over us is in the attention we give him so rather than give attention to the devil i've chosen to give attention to the word of god i've chosen to give attention to to god's promises i've chosen to give attention to god and what he wants to do with me for me and through me as well i'm also on a new discovery of the person of the holy spirit <laughs> i'm basic now girls like i am so basic i decided to just really forget about whatever i thought i knew you know like how the knowledge you have of god is mostly based off on what you've been told right and um which has been amazing i can't even lie to you guys but a personal encounter personal knowledge personal understanding you know, like when you have to when you want to have a personal encounter of god so much so that when you talk about him there is a witness he bears witness yeah i'm not saying that it's been you know, it hasn't been happening but i i wanted to like start afresh like on a totally new journey with him another thing that i honestly want to invest in is discipleship um i haven't really been so into slow winning for some time now and i don't know well i know why let me not even say i don't know i mean i wasn't just paying attention to it because i was distracted by other things and i want to be very particular about it right now because soul winning is at the heart of god last sunday while my pastor was preaching he gave us some prophetic revelations from god he said if you love god then you need to spend time with him if you love me you spend time with me and i've noticed it 
if you are in a relationship one of the things that you want to do in that relationship is to spend time with your significant other at least i have i know from experience if i really like somebody if i love somebody i would want to spend time with that person i would want to conversation is something that i really love i would want to spend time talking with that person i want to spend time gisting and sharing the part of my day coming back from work and having someone to talk to i mean a special person in your life to talk to is therapeutic in itself and i have decided to make god that person right so if you love god you will spend time with god and this is not me trying to say oh i don't want to be in a relationship come on my relationship part is is amazing you guys will know in due time okay yeah and um if you love god as well you would make disciples for him because souls are perishing god is very passionate about winning back his sons winning them back the world is becoming very chaotic a lot of people are so confident to speak about their faith and if you have a gift for these people why hide it which this is something that i and this is like i don't know how to put it but it's just something i've been pondering on recently and i really want to invest much more into discipleship now i mean more than before i think now i'm seeing it more like a responsibility not like a duty of oh if you don't do it if you don't do it no i really want to do it as a responsibility now i'm saying all these things to encourage you to pursue a relationship with god if you ever feel like your life does not make a meaning try god try god honestly speaking try him um i felt that way before even though i knew god but then i i was able to find out why those things happened i got distracted i got distracted with my work i didn't have enough time to spend with him anymore he wasn't my priority and the devil struck me i know the bigger goal i understand what god wants to use me for the devil also knows it there are three people that know this thing god knows it the devil knows it i also know it but god wants me to accomplish it the devil doesn't want me to do it so the, the question is who do i give attention to and who do i feed more so that these can be accomplished because if i fail a lot of people are gonna fail and that's how i see it now if i fail god if i fail to do what i should do if i fail to show up a lot of people will fail my destiny is tied to a lot of people i've learned that i already know a long time ago but now there's a new revelation that comes with it so yeah if you love god please spend time with him and disciple men for him the brows are given guys the brows are given the brows are given we're actually almost done with the makeup i just want to do something else let's blend 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 another thing that i honestly have learned not to do is to is to chase recognition yeah i have never really been you know the type to just chase to chase recognition but right now i think i'm more i'm more intentional with it i don't want to chase recognition you know like how for example you're in, in a, an environment and you want to be seen you want everybody to know that oh you can sing you can talk you can draw you can you know mm -mm. don't chase recognition especially when it comes to matters of destiny god announces you himself that's one thing i've noticed allow god to announce you allow god to brood on you allow god to cook you cook you when he's done cooking you he will dish you out he will serve you and trust me you will have a satisfactory taste to the people he wants to give you to that's one thing i've noticed and also that's one thing that has helped me really to not be so eager to to blow you know like when you want to blow in now in if you're nigeria we say you want to blow blow means like you want to get rich you want to become famous you want to just you know just be a celebrity basically that's why i'm not really in a haze for that because again i understand that this part of my life it's gonna come with a lot of challenge so i understand that god needs to really prepare me for it because the media mountain is a very very strong mountain it takes it takes um, a changed person to to sustain the fire when you get there 
it would take someone that really knows god to not fall for um to not fall for you know the distractions or anything there so i'm gonna try eyeshadow and my eyeshadow palette <laughs> has been with me for a long time i'm digressing but let's just get this right see that so now let's tap in some shimmers girl we're gonna do some shimmers I, I think I really want to do shimmers right now and I'm, I'm feeling this I'm feeling this color let's try this color mm, let's just let's try something different let's try okay okay can you see oh this is good oh this is cute let's extend to here okay it's official I have to do more of eyeshadow applications no 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 a girl has to come back see how this is girl oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> this is cute okay so this is how a girl looks right now and let's review the hair <gasps> <Ta -da! laughs> i've had this hair do for um two weeks now i i did this the week um i think yeah just a day before it's a thursday right yeah so i've had this hair do for two weeks and i love it am i tired of having the hair on actually i am but i mean a girl loves the hair though it's cute and plus you know my hair is natural and the lady honestly did a good job in it on the hair rather right so yeah the hair didn't take me so much time maybe like five hours because it's a three step it's actually a three step um ghana braids okay so let me just show you this is the first step this is the second step of it i'm already having some dandruff down there but of course it's two weeks this is the second step now this is the last step so the last the down part of it is basically braids just single braids down here right after there you now see the second part which is the Ghana braids and then this part so it's giving me some nothing and <laughs> vibes you know what i mean i don't know why but i love the hairdo as much as it's very straight like it feels so inconvenient and i can't even lie to you guys like sometimes i'm just tired of having it on but i cannot do anything about it i want to have it on for like a month so we have two more weeks to go the good news about this video that i want to share with you is that my life is back on track i feel so good now the joy has returned the joy of the lord is really your strength trust me a lot of things find their places back when you put god at the center of your will which is what i've done again i came back to the place of alignment i came back to the place of alignment of god's will for my life i found that i was running my race for some time which is basically why things did not turn out the way they did or the way they were supposed to turn out right but now i'm more intentional about it i really want to focus on what god wants me to do i want to make impact in people's lives i want to make impact in your life as well and it's going to find expression in the kind of content i will be dishing out from now on i mean i still want to do my beauty content but i want to really talk about practical things that people go through beyond my self-development videos i film i want to talk about deep things for example child abuse for example sexual harassment um dealing with rejection you know things that people really go through i figured that the video i put out on depression really opened certain people up to feeling free to talk about things as well and i figured also that I should do more of that and not allow you guys to feel like we're always okay every time because the truth is I'm not always okay I'm not always okay I have my low moments as well but what do I do when I'm in my low moments so I should be free to share these things with you 
Um, I know I mentioned that I was considering therapy. Yeah, I still want to do therapy because I want to come to a deep place of self-awareness, right? Um, there is, of course, there's spiritual healing, there's emotional healing. I only just really want to come to the place of self-awareness where I now know exactly the triggers of certain things that are beginning to be like a cycle in my life, okay? I want to be a better parent. I want to be a good wife to the lucky man that would have me. And I have worked on that part of my life for a long time. Now, I want to really channel and minister to this little girl that had to go through a lot of things that have become an adult because I found out that I spent a lot of time suppressing and suppressing and suppressing which made me very independent okay and last year made me to to express a lot of things in a different way and I was like I thought I dealt with these things I thought I already I thought I was good but then you know certain things need to be dealt with with you being more self-aware and you now know the triggers you now know how to handle you know them so yes I have had an amazing relationship with God so far and I'm still on it I want to continue pursuing it and I really want to enjoy this new found love that I'm enjoying okay so I think I, I, I have a way of saying the wrong words when I'm too excited that's what's going on with me right now I'm so excited so but the truth is I'm happy I'm in a good place mentally now I'm able to think of content creation the only reason I have not been consistent with content creation is because I have been house hunting a girl has been stressed out but we would try and keep up with it all right so if you are looking for a sign to get back to the place of a relationship with God this is your sign this is your sign to rededicate your life to God again this is your sign to find God again. This is your sign to build an amazing relationship with God again. This is your sign to get back to the place of consecration, the place of prayer, the place of intercession, the place of koinonia with the Holy Spirit. Trust me, the Holy Spirit is so real that you you have him as a friend all right he is so real more than the clothes you wear and this is my invitation for you really to step on this journey with me and if you want to do that please just let me know so that we probably can just have some accountability system going on so that you know none of us falls out of track i want to believe that you've learned a thing again Please let me know what you think about this and share with me what you're battling with if you don't want to share you could actually dm me i mean i'm oh, i'm so open to dms but i mean i can't give you my personal number you can actually reach out to me on instagram send a dm on instagram and honestly i'll be happy to talk to you i really want to be of help to you the much i can help you i've always believed that whatever god puts me through is for someone out there and it would be my pleasure to to have you reach out to someone to talk to about anything you know hopefully by god's grace i'm able to help you with one or two words if you have enjoyed this video so far please like share and subscribe and be a part of the family i love you to the moon and back i really do love you i love you to the moon and back ah! <laughs> i love you but let's lay the look again oh this girl Bye to the lose. Mm.